In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use easing modes to make 2D animations of a ball and a car. Press X to delete the cube. Select the lamp. Press X to delete it. Select the camera. In the object menu, clear location. In the object menu, clear rotation. Click the Object Properties button and set the Z location of the camera to 11. Change the view to the camera view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click the World button. Click the Horizon color. Drag to make the color white. Click the Plus to open up the Properties panel. Scroll down. Open up the display panel and tick World Background. Click the Data Object Properties for the camera and change the lens from Perspective to Orthographic. This effectively changes Blender from a 3D system to a 2D system. Add Curve Circle. In the Data Object Properties, change the shape to 2D. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter. Click the Material button, click the Add New Material button, click the Diffuse color and set the green and the blue to zero. Click the Object Properties button and name the circle Red Ball. To animate the ball, I'm going to insert two keyframes. My rhyme for inserting a keyframe is Go to Frame, Make Change, Insert Keyframe. Go to frame 1, make change, move the ball to the top of the camera view, insert keyframe, right click on the ball's Y location and insert single keyframe. Set the total length of the animation to 50 frames and go to frame 50, make change, move the ball to the bottom of the camera's view, insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Pressing play, the animation is like going down in a lift. The ball accelerates, then decelerates. Drag on the diagonal lines to open up a new window and make the new window a graph editor window and click the plus to open up the properties panel. In the graph, we can see the acceleration and the deceleration. Scroll down and change the interpolation to quadratic. The graph shape has changed and we have easing modes. Ease in and ease out gives acceleration and deceleration like being in a lift. Ease out, the ball falls rapidly to begin with and decelerates. Ease in, the ball falls slowly to begin with and accelerates. And automatic easing gives the same result as ease in. For a ball falling under the force of gravity, set the easing to ease in. I will come back to the ball, but next I'm going to look at easing modes with a car. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to hide the red ball and change the graph editor window into a UV image editor window. Open an image of a car. If you want to use my image, download the file from my website. Add Mesh Plane. I'm going to map the image file to the plane. The most important thing when mapping is that the ratio of the width to the height is the same. Click the plus to open up the properties panel and we see the dimensions of the image are 628 pixels wide by 169 pixels tall. I'm going to use the dimensions for the scale of the plane. Set the X scale to 0.628 and set the Y scale to 0.169 and enter. Go into edit mode. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, project from view bounds. Change the shading to texture and go back into object mode. Name the plane red car. Click the material button, 
click the new material button, scroll down and tick shadeless, tick transparency and set the alpha to zero, drag to make the properties window wider, click the textures button, click the add new texture button, scroll down, click the browse image button and select the car image, scroll down and in the influence panel tick alpha. I'm going to add a plane to act as a wall or bollard, click its object properties, set its x scale to 0 0.05, its y scale to 0.2 and its x location to 3.5. Click the material button, click the browse material button, I'm going to reuse the red ball material, scroll down, I forgot to tick shadeless, and set the shading in the 3D view to material. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter, and set the X location of the duplicate to minus 3.5. Change the window back to a graph editor. I'm going to animate the car by inserting two keyframes. Go to frame one, make change, use the tip of the red arrow to move the car back. Insert keyframe, right click on the X location, insert single keyframe. Go to frame, go to frame 50. Make change, use the tip of the red arrow to move the car forwards. Insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Clicking play, the car accelerates and decelerates. Change the interpolation from Bezier to quadratic. Change easing to ease in and ease out. And we get a similar graph, the car accelerates and decelerates. Select the bollard and click the eye icon in the outliner window to hide it. Select the car and use the tip of the red arrow to move it half in shot, half out. Right click on the X location and replace single keyframe and change easing to ease out. Clicking play, the car comes into shot and brakes. Click the eye icon to unhide the bollard. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the car forwards. Right click on the X location, replace single keyframe. Select the other bollard and click the eye icon to hide it. Go to frame 50, make change, move the car half out of the shot. Right click on the X location and replace single keyframe and change easing to ease in. Clicking play, the car accelerates and drives away. I'm going to look at easing modes one more time with the red ball. Hide all the objects except for the red ball. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Go to frame, go to frame 1. Make change. I'm actually moving the ball down using the line of the green arrow. I move it across using the tip of the red arrow. Insert keyframe, right click on the X location, insert single keyframe. Right click on the Y location, replace single keyframe. Go to frame, go to frame 50, make change, set the X location to zero and use the tip of the green arrow to move the ball to the top of the frame. Right click on the Y location and replace single keyframe. I'm not going to insert a keyframe for the X location. Set the total length of the animation to 100 frames. Go to frame 100, make change, use the tip of the red arrow to move the ball across and the line of the green arrow to move the ball down. Right click on the X location, insert single keyframe. Right click on the Y location, insert single keyframe. Clicking play, we get an interesting animation, but what I want is a ball being thrown into the air and falling under gravity. Selecting only the X location keyframe, the motion of the ball in the X direction will not be affected by gravity. Ignoring wind resistance, its motion will be linear. 
In the graph editor window, zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan control and mouse wheel. Select the first Y location keyframe and change the easing to ease out. Select the second Y location keyframe and change the interpolation to quadratic and change easing to ease in. Clicking play, you get a normal trajectory that you would get with gravity. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file and the image file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.